tough day on the stock market today as stocks continue to plummet. Yeah, and the uncertain economy now has some wondering what this means for their money going forward. News 12's Darius Razzi is in our, is in our Yonkers studio tonight with more. Darius? Well, people are just not catching a break. Many tell me that they feel like the economy is just piling on from COVID closures to product shortages to rising gas prices and inflation. Now, 401ks are taking a hit and experts warn that the declining economy is just beginning. Everything is just so expensive now until I don't know how they expect you to keep living. Many like Rose Grady from Yonkers wonder how much worse can the economy get? taking blow after blow from rising prices at the pump and on the shelves. Now, the market's wiping away retirement funds. Dr. James Fisher from Yonkers says it's killing him. Put away money for my pension and watching it drop precipitously, 20, 30 percent. The Nasdaq is down 30 percent for the year. The SP is down about 22 percent. It's just frightening. I, I try not to watch it because watching it uh, doesn't make you sleep well at night. And there will be many, many more sleepless nights ahead according to experts like economics professor Mark Weinstock. You're nowhere near rock bottom at this point. He says among other factors, the Federal Reserve Board simply dropped the ball. The whole idea that inflation was temporary was uh, absurd, and we don't have that concept in economics. So the Fed um, delayed raising, and now they're behind the curve, and they're trying to make up for it. So when the Feds meet Wednesday, they're expected to raise interest rates possibly as much as three-quarters of a percent an attempt to calm the markets and to fight inflation. In the meantime, consumers like Anthony Pedoto from White Plains are slowing their spending and holding on to their money. Saving, you know, cutting out the, you know, a lot of the extras, you know, maybe canceling vacations and canceling trips just to, you know, be smart about my money. So there is what can people do? Well, experts urge people not to withdraw their money from their 401, I'm sorry, from their 401ks, but they say it may be a good time to talk to your financial advisor about shifting your inv investments. Also, people could consider buying tips from the Treasury Department. Tips is Treasury inflation protected securities where you earn more interest on your money as inflation rises.